Okay. Here's what we're ending up with. It's just a, it's just a pasta with mushrooms. It's just kind of pasta. It's called a casareccia, um, which is, you know, it's a little twisty pasta. There's like a lot of pastas here in Italy. And um, this is with some mushrooms, but it's a little bit of tomatoes in there, and of course some garlic and some Parmesan shredded on top. And uh, <clears throat> it might not look like much here in this bowl, but this kind of stuff's uh, really good, really good. It's pretty healthy too, and uh, definitely keeps you going. And of course, a little bit of uh, vino. But uh, yeah, this is where we'll end up tonight. Okay, and before we get too carried away with the mushrooms here, let's just get a little bit more oil down in there. So I can cook in that oil, take up that garlic taste. And that might seem like a lot of uh, parsley, but uh, it's not necessarily. And by the time the stems all come out of there, it won't be as much as it looks like. Okay, so the mushrooms are cooking along pretty nicely here. They've been in there maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes. Just cooking at low heat, sizzling away. And I've got to check with my advisors here on this uh, mushroom, uh, with, the, with pulling out this mushroom water. It doesn't seem right to me because start off with the oil and the garlic, put the mushrooms in. So you're pouring off the oil with the mushrooms. So, but that does uh, look pretty liquidy. It's got a little, it's got some oil bubbling on it, but the mushroom uh, liquid is, it's water that came out of the mushrooms. And uh, yeah, how do you get rid of that without getting rid of a lot of the tastes of the garlic and so forth? I don't know, so I'm, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is put my sauce in with it. I've got about 150 grams of sauce here. It's about 300 grams of mushrooms starting off. And, uh, what's that? <laughs> you know, this stuff has no weight. So, uh, this will, I'm going to just let it cook down. I'm just going to let this, uh, see how it's bubbling off there, boiling off. I'm just going to go ahead and put the uh, uh, tomato sauce in with it and the, uh, and the parsley and just let it simmer. Low heat for, I don't know, a good while. Okay, so that's where we are. And we're adding the, the parsley. And I'm not going to add any other spices to this. I've got my garlic and my parsley in here. And the taste of the tomatoes and the mushrooms. I don't want to overly complicate things, especially since I'm not really comfortable with every spice under the sun yet. But it's just going to cook down a while and let that parsley flavor mix with the mushrooms. Okay. All right. And this is getting the tomato sauce and there's a two-handed operation. So the next time you see that, it'll have tomato sauce in it. And water is about getting ready to boil. <clears throat> okay. Now since this sauce is so good, and uh, look how nice and red it is. I don't think I don't want to just rinse this bottle out of sauce and, and waste it. So I'm gonna put in about, I don't know, a little wine there. It's just uh, nothing too fancy. Kind of a red wine, and I'll shake it up there, and then we'll put the wine in with the sauce here. It's gonna make it pretty liquidy, and then we're just gonna let it cook down, and let it thicken up. Okay, so that's what happens when you put the lid on and shake a shake some wine into the tomato sauce. So that's red wine and tomato sauce. And if I do that one more time, this bottle is gonna be very nice and clean, and. Uh, it all in an ecologically good way that makes the dish better. I don't think I'm going to need as much wine this time because most of that sauce is out of there. Put the lid on. See how clean the bottle is getting? And all that good stuff is uh, being saved here to go into the dish. So this is the kind of efficiency that uh, I like. Okay, so let's just stir that all together now and let it and let it simmer until that gets thick so i'm just going to keep it on low heat come back once in a while and stir it so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and it's lost that really bright red color now it's got a little bit more of the color of the wine to it and the mushrooms there <laughs> and it smells really good it smells really really good 
the tomatoes and the wine. I can't smell the mushrooms too well in there right now. But uh, that's, that's liable to come out pretty good. I'm going to reserve judgment. Who knows? It might be terrible, but I just don't think it will be. Hey, cook it. Got to eat it. Simple like that. Okay, so we've been uh, bubbling away here at low heat. Uh, what, another 15 minutes already? So this we've got at least a half an hour more. And it's time for the first taste here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I give it more time. I think to let the wine cook down some more, thicken up, but um, it tastes pretty good. That's gonna be nice. Okay, getting hungry. Okay, just simmering, very low heat for uh, about a half an hour here it's been simmering. And uh, it's getting thicker. Hmm. That, that's pretty, I don't know what to say about that. Um, it's not bad, but I don't want to uh, fawn all over it and whatever. Um, it is, it's um, cooking it longer. The, the flavor is good. It's, it's the, the, the parsley comes through, the mushroom comes through. Those two work together, the mushrooms and the parsley. And whatever red wine uh, component is in there is kind of, I don't know, sitting there behind the tomatoes somehow. But it's getting just thick enough here, I think, that you could drape it on the pasta you know, if you wanted to. Um, or I think what I'm going to do is to uh, cook the pasta and let this simmer some more. So maybe in 15 minutes I have my pasta done. And uh, I'm going to just mix it with the pasta and let this little bit of extra juice here, um, a little bit of extra liquid, just uh, soak into the pasta. cheese on it, of course. And I should know better, but I've been neglecting to put a little bit of oil and salt in the pasta water there. So, let's just get that back to a boil and uh, cook the pasta. We'll just keep going and we'll put it together. Okay, so my water uh, came to a nice boil there. Good ripping, roaring boil. And I probably should have had more water, but I added all of this pasta anyway. It's 500 grams of this uh, uh, Casa Recchia, Casa Recchia number 88, uh, 11 minutes, so al dente 9 minutes. Okay, so that's, um, yeah, because I just think for this amount of sauce, that amount of pasta, it's going to be good. Okay, keeping an eye on the time here, and I think we're going to, uh, well, I'll just keep stirring this and then taste it. Um, uh, I'm gonna let it go about 10 minutes. I don't want it to be totally al dente because from my experience so far in these pastas, when they've said al dente, it's a little bit too al dente for me. But I've got my oil in here this time and the salt, and I can feel with the, the way the spoon's going in here that this is just getting hot and starting to come up to a boil again. So, I think another 10 minutes, we will have it. And the sauce taste is tasting pretty good, by the way. I think uh, this makes me think of uh, maybe going a little bit nuts with this. And I don't want to change it at this point, but I think some tartufa in these mushroom sauces might be a good thing. You know, if you like mushrooms, you like mushrooms. What can I say? Okay, we're getting close to time here now. They're plumping up and getting soft, and you can feel it with the spoon. But of course, let's pull one out and try it, let it cool off a little bit. Of course, by the time this cools, we're gonna have another couple of minutes of cooking going on here. Um, just one, please. And the sauce, I've turned off the fire, so it's gonna be like drain. 
drain, put back in pot, put sauce in pot, stir, leave sit a little bit, scoop it out, put in cheese. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it's good. It is good. See how it's plumped up, and when you stir it, it doesn't have a little bit of a clickiness against your spoon to move the spoon through it. So, yeah. <laughs> Dinner's coming. Okay, so let's turn off the exhaust fan. There we go. And it's been drained, and in goes the sauce. So, every little bit of that sauce goes in. And I appreciate the aesthetics of, of draping the sauce over the pasta. It's very nice, and it allows you to, you know, control the mixture of the sauce to the pasta. I love these nonstick pans. Just one, one last little drop there. I'm just trying to get that little piece. It's not worth it. Okay, so there's the sauce. So, I want to just stir that in a little bit just to get the, uh, just to let the flavors all mix together. Oh, that would have been, actually, I probably should have just put that in a serving plate if I had more people here. Put the pasta in a big serving plate and just put the sauce on top. And then just, uh, you know, family style, dig it out. So that's the sauce covering the pasta. Seems like enough with lots of mushrooms floating around in there. <laughs> this is going to be good. I have good luck with this stuff because I don't really know how to cook. But I do know some things. And... Yeah. Let's uh, put this in a bowl and uh, put some cheese on it and have some dinner. And the rest goes in the fridge because it will continue to soak. Actually, I should have maybe even made the sauce a little bit runnier and hadn't just a little bit more sauce because this process is not to be underestimated. Um, the, there's a diffusion constant, of course, going on here. Some chemistry going on between all the different flavors uh, involved with the sauce and uh, and the pasta itself, and time and temperature. And it's the chemistry is uh, very very sophisticated and, uh, and and it's a beautiful thing. But it's a lot to wrap your head around. So, um, this is why I really, really like to, to put the pasta in the refrigerator to have extra for the next day. You could do all sorts of uh, wonderful experiments, like just microwave it is the simplest one. But I'm thinking I might have enough left over here that I might try to bake it. To bake it. You talk about time to mingle for flavors. Oh. Okay, probably not the ideal way to be dishing this out, but not so bad. I don't know. So there's the pasta. A lot of mushrooms in there. That's good. Let's get the, uh, two scoops is too much. Yeah. Okay. Ah, that's a good. That's a good bowl. Bowl. Nah. What the heck. Two scoops. Two scoops of raisins in Kellogg's raisin bran, right? And now the cheese. Okay. Here's what we're ending up with. It's just a it's just a pasta with mushrooms. It's this kind of pasta. It's called a casareccia. Um, which is you know, it's a little twisty pasta. There's like a lot of pastas here in Italy. And um, this is with some mushrooms, but it's a little bit of tomatoes in there and of course some garlic and some parmesan shredded on top. And uh, it might not look like much here in this bowl, but this kind of stuff's uh, really good. Really good. It's pretty healthy, too, and uh, definitely keeps you going. And, of course, a little bit of uh, vino. But, uh, yeah, this is where we'll end up tonight. Yeah, and there's Coco. Wondering if you're going to get a little bit of my pasta. Well, of course you are, sweetie. Because it's, it's not unhealthy at all for dogs. But um, wait your turn. Just, you know. Be patient. Sit. Coco, sit. Okay. You'll be fine. <laughs>